what you see on camera. It's a hard thing to explain, but it set me into a mindset of the seriousness of the material. It's like these environments are talking to me. This movie looks completely different than any other film about this subject matter, aesthetically and also the journey that Peter went on. The idea is that in every frame, it's evocative and informative. Trying to capture the beautiful and the brutal in the landscapes of Louisiana. It really is an energy. You can really feel it. Naomi has done a brilliant job of recreating the reality of that time, from building the horse and buggy carts, recreating slave shacks, to building the railroad site, to building the battlefield, on and on and on. I love Naomi, she's so passionate. You give Naomi a direction, she'll build you the world. The windmills pump water, which then goes into the cistern, which then feeds the, the um, steam cars when they come through. I build in shots, lighting when it's interior. I build in a lot of stuff that the cinematographer can then discover. He is my slave in my defense. He has become my salvation. I am completely motivated by the way that the story is going to be received by the world, but I measure my own success on whether it shoots well. For me as a cinematographer, I searched for something extraordinarily real. Antoine and I felt that what had been accomplished in the past with color is something we didn't want to repeat. So we looked for a palette that was black and white, yet allowed certain colors to come out of it. So it's not a completely black and white, but it's a heavily desaturated feel, a grittier feel. The desaturation of the film and the look, that was really critical for capturing the brutality. Peter's constantly on the run, so his camera is virtually always the same, always in motion. the scenes in which we're shooting Dodian, we slowed it down and were more stable so that you have the fixture and a more structured background for her in combination with the race that's taking place between Peter trying to avoid Basil and his men who are hunting him down. Rana. 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 I've always been a history buff. I've always been interested in the origin of things, why things are the way they are. Francine kept it honest as far as the wardrobe and the look. There were fabrics back then, they were called Negro cloth, now called Osnaburg. And it is a rough grain, very scratchy. So I like the fabric, but let's get something that is a bit more comfortable. And that's where I really wanted to go with cotton and linen blend. Peter was running from these vicious people who are trying to capture him. To go on that journey with him, we actually had 70 shirts, 70 trousers. All of these things had to have a multiple of 70 with his first outfit. The first time those iron collars got put onto my neck. It was like comprehension slightly beyond your rational mind where things come through that you haven't thought about. It was like stuck on my neck for probably 15 minutes. People were running around looking for a key to get it off of my neck, but Peter was being beaten while he had it on his neck. To see my journey through this industry as a black woman and a black American woman 
I think my ancestors would be very proud. Obviously, we still deal with things today, but I think part of healing is trying to find some truth in it. And so that's my journey. That's the journey that all my crew came to join. So hopefully that's what we did.